my sister had cancer and then it went away. She went, she had chemo. She didn't tell anyone. She, she tried to hide it from the family and it went away. And then it came back much stronger and, uh, she got hospitalized and then now it couldn't be hidden. So now everybody got to find out. The family got to find out and she got to a point where she had to be put in a specialized, uh, unit. But in Dallas, where we live, they consider that a non-emergency because the medical oh. system in the United States is, I don't have words to describe the corruption, but it's not an emergency, so you can't transfer her to the specialized hospital. Wow. So we find out that the closest specialized hospital is in, um, is in Houston, four-hour drive away. And we're like, okay, can we get an ambulance to at least Take That's her, because yeah. they, they would take, they, they might take her if you go in through the emergency room. Not actual transfer, but you walk in like a walk in emergency, they might take her. Wouldn't give us an ambulance. Wow. Well, okay. So I, for the first time, I drove an RV, you know, those mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got one of those. My, her, her husband, he drove the car. I carried her into the back and I'm just lying her. Like with her in the back, just making sure she doesn't fall because she couldn't even sit up. Lord. And we drove through the night, like to the, to the hospital. I put her in a wheelchair and we walk in. And then that's how she got admitted, admitted to that. Because the first hospital told her she has, she's not going to last the day, but they wouldn't let her go to a, they wouldn't let her transport. A, no. Oh my God. No. So then we went through the emergency room. They, they diagnosed her in an hour. Then they put her in the, the cancer unit that they were refusing to put her in otherwise. And now she's there and she would literally be, you know how you were sitting next to your friend and you couldn't leave the hospital? I don't live in uh, Houston. I live in Dallas. So I just, I'm now at this point just living in the hospital practically and down the street from it, I got my parents uh, a hotel. I'm just going back and forth from the hospital and she'd wake up maybe five minutes in a day, eight minutes in a day, say a word or two. And she used to work with me at Vienna. SubhanAllah. So... You know, and she'd just, in, in like half conscious, she'd just say my name. I'd be, I'm right here, I'm right here. And she'd refuse to eat. And then the only one she'd, she'd drink something from is if I'm holding it for her. So like, yeah, okay. I'd give her. And then just two weeks before then, she had arranged for me to go to a program in uh, Malaysia. And I canceled it because I'm, I'm not going to leave her. Of course. So she comes to her conscience and she goes, why aren't you in Malaysia right now? And I was like, no, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to leave you. She, she gets really upset with me. She says, I, you have to promise me. I put that together. You will go. You will not stay behind. Go and come back. But I will not be, I'm not going to eat anything if you don't go. <laughs> she starts, she, she goes big sister mode on me. Right. So I was like, oh, I can't upset her in this state. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. So I go do the program and. I still remember I get the, I, I come back from the program that night in the hotel and I get a call from my, my younger sister that she's gone. Allah and, uh, how the, my entire family was in devastation. I was frozen and I like, I didn't know what to think. And I, I don't even know how I, I don't remember the flight. I don't remember anything. I don't just, I got there and my family was in disarray. Nobody, this is the this is the first time we're dealing with something like this in my family. And she was my she was my best friend. Wow. Like I've had many friends in my life, but nobody likes Saima. Like she was my best friend. And if you if you saw us together, you wouldn't think we're siblings. <laughs> we're two different worlds, but she was my absolute best friend. And him. And him.